So welcome to another vlog. Hello. So we've just finished work and yeah. um, we've come home. Um, we've decided, well, I've decided to create this game where once a month we take it in turns buying things for each other. Um, limit of about five pound. So neither of us knows what this is going to be, this package. So I did this the other day. I ordered this package for Chris. For me! <laughs> for this guy. He doesn't know what's in the package. Mm. It's something fun, something weird. Mysterious. It's all it's still strange. sealed. Um, so yeah, I thought we could just have a bit of fun uh, and surprise each other. See what we can, see what things we can come up with every month to, to um, entertain each other. Can I open it now? Yes, you may open it. Okay. Live opening. Live opening. Let's just talk that so we can see what's going on. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, okay. Ready? Oh, One, two, three. No, no. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. 52 things whilst you poo. 52 things to do. Oh, to do whilst I poo. While you poo. Hmm, okay. So, so this is relevant to Chris. Chris likes to spend a lot of time in there, Thanks. casually just chilling out on his phone. Here's, here's some few ideas to do yeah. other than play on your phone. Yeah. Would you um, like let, to read? I say, let's be fair, everyone messes around on the phone. <laughs> you know, it used to be the paper or the crossword. Now everyone... Well, they even have Sudoku on the toilet roll. Yeah, so exactly. You can, you can pull the toilet roll and... You know, if you know, if anyone wants to say what they do when they whenever poo, let us know. I don't mind. Poo stories. So, would you like yeah. to read a few tips for people at home if they're getting bored? Yeah. So, uh, oh, it's it's different puzzles. So what what it is? Um, so for this one is we're looking for that pair oh. on this on this page. Oh, okay. Basically, this pair only appears once on the opposite page. Oh, that's really clever. So... What else is there? Okay, so there's that one. So that's yeah. like a where... So... I'm not sure what... That... Oh, so, and then we've got some facts. So... Uh, I'm not sure... Oh, so this is um, which way you pull the toilet roll. So ah, some, some people so, yeah. pull the toilet roll from the front... Mm -hmm. And some people pull it down from the back. Okay. So this is saying 72.4% of people pull it from the front. Mm -hmm. And 27.6% people pull it from the back. So it's more common to pull it from the front. Yeah. Do you pull it more from the front or the back? Let us know. Nice little simple maze of the fly to the shit. <laughs> The only way to... <laughs> oh, women are more likely to scrunch the toilet paper. Men tend to be folders. Why do you... Why would you scrunch? Do you scrunch? Or do you fold? I think I scrunch. I'm not sure. I've never... why are you wasting... Well, I don't really. I don't, I don't think so. I just took I've seen you. I mean... I don't scrunch. But no. I'm surprised that men tend to be folders because men yeah, tend to be use. quite messy. I wouldn't say that they'd fold anything. Oh, well, I'm I'm a folder because I like to get most of the YouTube out, out, out okay. of it. What else? Whereas you, you, you get lots of it. I've seen you get like a good oh, wedge okay, of okay. stuff. This is a good one. This okay. is a good one. The first cubicle in a public toilet is the least used. It is also the cleanest. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. I there's definitely different places where I go and it's like I always go yeah, to the same Yeah, but it's, I think at work I always have the same toilet. Mm. I always use the same. I don't know why. I just think that's my favorite toilet. When I was at college, I had a particularly one to, uh, one toilet I go to, and I actually signed it on the final day of leaving. I did sign the the, the toilet, toilet and the door. Very very nice. Yeah, just for I'll share that out with you guys. <laughs> okay, what else? Oh, that's some interesting thing. Um, oh, okay. On oh, average. Okay. Yes, this is a this is a very good question for you yeah. people at home. If anyone wants to weigh their poo, good luck. But uh, on uh, the average human, poops out three pounds a day. Wow, the, that's great. The average elephant poops out three hundred pounds a day. Wow. Here's a picture of the 
<laughs> elephant with the three hundred pound poo. I'm just trying to think what three hundred three hundred pounds like sixteen. Yeah, but then why are why are elephants still fat yeah. then and big? Well, they're still going to be bigger than muscle and everything else that goes with it, you know. They're not going to poop it all out and then become nice and slim. They don't go to Elephant Slimming World and go, Ooh. I've never seen a slim <laughs> elephant ever. I've just pooped out 300 pounds a day and look at me now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, here's another good one. 33% flush the toilet while sitting on it. Oh, no, you're going to get a wet bomb. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the point. What, just, oh, what's in here? <laughs> you know, it's a bit sticky, yeah. this one. This, this needs do, a fun, do, yeah. you, do you flush while sitting on the toilet? No. Comments, comments below. I don't. I no. just casually get up and then don't decide to. A few crosswords in here. Farts contain the flammable gases methane, hydrogen sulfide, and hydrogen. Yeah. That's, That's why I don't like candles in the house because. It's the way, too dangerous. The way this person trumps, half the house will be exploding. <laughs> It'll be gone. Ooh. The Actually, no, to be fair, we, we both we'll trump. Eat, well, it is chemical warfare sometimes. The shape of your poo depends on the time it has spent in your colon. Ah. Oh, and we also have the types of poo, which is normal and constipated and things like that. Yeah, so all in all... I think this has been a really yeah. educational hmm. book to have in your toilet. I think we'll probably eventually go back to this on another video. Yeah, <laughs> I think we could um, explore yeah. some more Actually, facts Actually, I'll tell you. you what, I want to go back to that fact of different shapes of poo. Because okay, it's, of you poo. know, because, you know, if you ever want to know and, you know, you feel like sometimes poo can be a bit iffy, you, you know, especially going to the doctors and stuff, you know, it is quite good. So... Uh, let's have a look. Type 1. So, type 1 and 2 are constipating. So, uh, signs of constipation. So, like balls of overcooked sausage past, uh, past difficulty level 3. Or, like... So, basically, if the if the types of... You know, if they're basically balls and, the, you know, you're struggling to pass... You're constipated. You're constipated. Types 3 and 4 are normal. Which is like a little cooked sausage. A cracked sausage. Cracked sausage. sausage. You know, quite easy to pass. So there we go. If your poo looks like this, that, that's good healthy poo. Healthy poo. Healthy poo. Healthy poo. Uh, type 5, 6 and 7 are types of diarrhoea. So... That's like mashed up you know, sausage. Basically, plippity ploppity ring, messy, wetty poo, that's diarrhoea. And 6 is what? like a mashed up sausage... But he's oh, I like like uh, type seven liquefied sausage. Past difficulty minus four. So it's basically you, if you're raining poop. That sounds dangerous. Uh, does it have colour of poop on there? No, no colour no. poops. So it's, how do yeah. you rate this? How do you rate this gift? I really like it. Thank you. It's Good. fun facts and little puzzles and things like that. I will probably do some facts to you. Okay. So. And and to you guys at some point as well. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Next month, it's Chris's turn. Mm. Let's see what he can come up with. Yes. See you later, guys. Bye. Thanks for like, watching. Like, subscribe if you want to see more. Bye. <laughs>